All right, so I was just thinking of automating le long-range lesson plans for teachers, so I wanted to try something out. Uh, I have very, very basic knowledge of coding, so I asked uh, ChatGPT to help me out. So I basically asked it to, uh, this is not the right window, but anyway, I basically asked it to write a script for me that would go and collect data from a Google Sheets I told it that the data in column A would be start date, end date. I told it that the data in column C would be the title of the event that I want to put in a Google Calendar. And I told it that column D would be the description of the event. So I thought I could organize the data like this for a whole school year. Then I thought, well, that's annoying because then I have to go figure out what the dates of the school year is. So I actually asked ChatGPT to give me a list of the uh, dates based on my school board, excluding weekends and holidays. So uh, I have the dates for the second semester. I'm assuming this is correct. I don't think it actually is now that I'm seeing the beginning. But anyway, uh, and then I ran my script. And now live, I'm with you. I'm going to go see if it worked. I'm very excited. So I'm going to go look in the Google Calendar and see. So I had created a Google Calendar and ChatGPT told me to, um, well, it doesn't seem to have worked. It told me to get the, so it should be starting in uh, January. Let's see what dates I put in there. So, oh, it's starting in 2022. It's ending in 2022. Well, that's weird. Okay, well, let's see. It did work. Oh, it did work. It just, I inputted it at the wrong dates. Oh my God, this is awesome. So it started, I think I gave it the wrong dates. What did I ask ChatGPT to do? I said for the school year 22, 20, 22, 2023, but it only gave, it gave me actually the second semester. Anyway, we can tweak that. But what is very cool is that it created all of this for me. So I do need a database right now. Um, whoops, it's actually just uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I did the first few like like lesson 1.0 and in here would be the description of the lesson. So my next step, I want to learn how to make links in there. So we'll see how I'll ask ChatGPT to help me out. I'm so excited. I just created this teacher website pretty easily and I'm sharing the code with you in a separate video if you want it. But what's interesting is if I click here, I have the calendar and I have lesson plans for the whole semester for, in this example, it's a cal calculus class. So I have this because I've taught these classes many times and have put a lot of time and effort into all these resources. Uh, so I was wondering, I wonder if ChatGPT could actually help me create this calendar so that I don't actually have to go and manually create these events. And it did. And not only that, it created a website here that explains to me uh, how I've done it. So I'm going to share all that information with you. So I'm going to show you what I've done. So I'll give you the link to this website that ChatGPT basically created for me. But it gave me this code. So I copied it. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to copy and paste this code. So I created a new Google Sheets. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. And I called it whatever I wanted to call it. And then I went ahead and I set up my first four columns. So start date, end date, title, and description. So these would be my lesson plans that go into the calendar. Next thing I did is, so by the way, um, for, actually I didn't know where to find the app script. So I just went to the help and found out where to get the app script. And again, taking this code, I um, will directly paste it in there. The alignment seems a little bit off, uh, so that's kind of annoying, but actually uh, JavaScript doesn't mind anyway, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Then I wanted to know which dates, so I want lesson plans for the whole semester. So I could just ask it to give me the first and last day of the semester. So let's see if it gives me the right information. It did not. So oddly enough, like in the good old days, I have to actually Google something and <laughs> go and look it up. So here I can see that the uh, first day of the second semester is seems to be uh, January 28th. And then the last day seems to be, I'm going to give it the June 16th. 
So I'm going to create lesson plans for, uh, so well, yeah, so give me a list of dates in the format, your month dates starting February 1st, 2023 and ending June 16th, 2023. Skip weekends and holidays in Canada. Also skip Fridays. I want to skip Fridays because I like to uh, always have a buffer day. Okay, I don't want it to give me the, the day of the week in bracket. All right, so I stopped it. I don't want all that. So I'm going to tell it to not give me those bullet points or the uh, brackets. Yeah, that's how I want it. So it's going to give me the list. Uh, so you can see it's generating the list. We're in May now, so it should go all the way until June. And I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it into the uh, Google Sheets. So I'm just going to click copy and go back to my Google Sheets and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this is the date and I, the end date. I From trial and error, I noticed that it, it wants the end date to be a future date. So I'm just going to say this guy plus one uh, so that it ends the next day and it seems to have worked. Okay, here are my lesson titles. So 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and so on. Um, maybe 1.3, and then I'm just, I mean, eventually I'm hoping to get ChatGPT to actually create these lesson ideas for me. But um, let's just drag all the way down to the end. So let's say I would have uh, these lessons. Okay, so I probably wouldn't name them that, but we'll just for to show you how what, what can be done. Okay, I delete that here. So the description I could let's say for lesson number one. Here's the lesson description. What I would want to have for lesson number one, and then I can do the same thing. I would customize it eventually, hopefully with the help of ChatGPT, but for now, let's just create this so that you can see what it can do. So I'm gonna go and run the app script. The one thing I have to give it is the sheet ID that I can find actually here. So I'm gonna copy this sheet ID and I'm going to paste it in the script that ChatGPT gave me. Um, and whoops, Control C and Control V. So basically, ChatGPT had told me to do this. It tells me in the code as well here in comments. So that's great. Uh, rename the sheet. My sheet's actually a called sheet one, so I'm not even going to change that. And I have to give it the name of the calendar where I want this stuff to go and be published. So I'm going to go and create a new calendar, and I'm going to call it the course code. Okay, so usually, I mean, I would give it a course code. Okay, this is the second time I try this. So I'm going to go and create this calendar. And then actually, if I um, if I go back now, you should be, normally it checks it. Yeah, so, no, it's not this one. What is it? Boop, 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 I called it, uh, what did I call it? Chat GPT created this course. That's what I called it. So if I click here and go to settings and sharing, I should be able to find the calendar ID. As, um, so the reason I knew to do this is because ChatGPT told me to find the calendar ID. So because I know I'm going to use this in, a, in my uh, website later, I want to make sure to make it available to public. Uh, so again, you can have a web teacher website created for you. And then I want to get the calendar ID from here. So I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to put the calendar ID right here and then that's it. So I'm going to click run and we're going to cross our fingers to see and execution has started. I'm so excited. Okay. So it says executed execution completed. Let's go and see if it works. So if I go to my calendar that I just created, uh, which was the GPT created this calendar. Uh, there you have it. So you have the calendar. It starts February 1st. It ends uh, on the 15th. And it fetched all the data from my uh, Google Sheets. So now I'm curious to see what happens if I change the description and run the script again. what's going to happen. So if we come here, that's my husband doing the dishes. Okay. If we come here and click run. All right. So let's go see what happens. I'm wondering if it's going to duplicate. Yes, it did duplicate. So I was wondering if it was going to duplicate. So this was the original one and this is when I ran the script a second time. So it did duplicate. So what, I guess you could go um, and delete. That's kind of annoying, but we can figure something out. So I guess what we would want is to make sure that we have all this set up properly before actually running the script.
So if we were happy with this calendar, what we could do is go to settings and sharing and get the iframe. Uh, and you can just get the iframe from here or you can customize if you want. So you can get the iframe from here and create your own website that looks like this. And then you could, uh, when I click here, I would see that calendar that ChatGPT created for me.